User permanently banned downplaying transphobia. User banned permanent, equating rules against bigotry with book User party. banned one week, user banned banned permanent bigotry with trolling. User banned, user banned, user banned permanent, permanent, three days, ignoring mod community high user banned user permanent, downplaying user banned 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 God damn do I love a good video game. I love it just about as much as I love talking about them. And luckily for me and for anybody else with this hobby, there are a ton of websites dedicated to just that. Whether it's an image board or a website or a forum, there are many sites that cater to that particular need. And for a long time, one of the premier places to go if you wanted to talk about anything video game related was NeoGAF. That is until the owner's penis couldn't be kept under control, and it led to the implosion of the entire fucking website. I'll link in the description if you want the backstory on that. But this began a great exodus to find a new homeland where video games could be talked about in a safe enclosure, where evil penises couldn't hurt anybody anymore. This led to the creation of Reset Era, the red-headed stepchild nobody fucking wanted, but decided to show up anyway. Now, Reset Era has gotten a bit of a reputation for being a little bit too, uh, trigger-happy when it comes to banning people and creating an inclusive safe space. They've become known as the most hypersensitive hug box on the internet, far outdoing places like Tumblr or RSRS. They are leagues beyond it if you were to talk to an average person who just happens to stroll by and browse through some of their website. I think that reputation might be undeserved, because there's no way it could possibly be as bad as people are describing it. I bet if we were to go look at some of the threads and read some of the posts, we'd quickly find out that this is a fun, open community that can handle banter and jokes, likes to enjoy their hobby with each other, and leaves all the political stuff outside of the uh, the website, outside of the forum. They just want to talk about video games. Like this video game theme thread, Era's Women Problem. I wonder what this one's about. Probably Centipede, maybe Pac-Man. Let's look at the OP. There's been some talk lately about how the level of discourse on Era is unacceptable for a forum that claims to be progressive, as opposed to... Uh, interlaced. I, I think we're talking about technical terms here. This forum is filled with fake progressives who think smoking weed and not actively raping people makes them leftist. If this place isn't progressive, do progressive places even exist? Okay, so maybe there's a little bit of politics in here, but I'm sure it's not obnoxious. It's not like there are people just begging for anybody with a different opinion to get instantly fucking banned for any reason whatsoever. What sort of insane fucked up mindset would you have to adhere to to really be inclined to uh, put that forward? People talk about the moderation being too strong here, but my view is that it isn't nearly strong enough. Being transphobic or misogynistic just gets you a weak ban, and you often have to have a history of acting like that just to get it. The goal of moderation shouldn't just be to enforce the rules, but also create a good environment where people can freely discuss progressive topics without people coming in to deny that it's worth considering or trying to derail it. The key to making this place more progressive is, like it or not, kicking out the people who don't fit that goal. Make the bans for blatant sexism or misogyny harsher. No more weak, pitiful bans of a week. Make it three months. Say dumb offensive shit, get hit. Let them move back to Gaff if they don't realize their mistakes. Could definitely do with more bans. I constantly see racist or sexist posts that get the offender a slap on the wrist. Shit like that don't learn, and it doesn't need a second chance. The only solution would be stricter moderation. People will eventually figure it out if they want to be here or not. Forcibly. Or by choice. Yeah. Oh. Four nights. More bans, please. Just, just ban everybody. They need to learn a lesson, forcibly or otherwise. They don't deserve a second chance. Line them up against the wall. They're not progressive enough to be here to talk about Tomb Raider. Well, it looks like the mods heard them loud and clear, because everybody gets a ban. You get a ban, and you get a ban, and you get a ban, and you get a ban. Fuck it, everybody's banned. The patriarchy is still strong. You said it. The amount of but harsher moderation wouldn't help, and this is the most progressive gaming forum ever rebuttals, are just plain tiresome. Well, when my lady requests some help, here come the white knights to lend her aid. I think I need to reread the don't call women females thread to get a better understanding of this. I'd be all for a 100% woman at moderation administration team. I think that would make the forum better and send a positive signal to the entire gaming community worldwide. I actually think the mods do all right with the shit, but I'm a dude, so maybe I just don't see how bad it is. Thank you for voicing out your concerns. As a male, 
there are obvious privileges I get to enjoy, and that means I don't get to experience the same problems that women do. Thus, I didn't notice the problems before to era, and probably on other communities in the internet as well. I will try to watch out more for the problems you voiced, and try not to repeat the same mistakes. Starting to notice a little bit of a trend if you got anything dangling between your legs. You're not very popular here. Late to the thread. Persephone, thank you for bringing attention to these things. Men, just shut up and listen, okay? The gun is good. The gun is good! The penis is evil. In topics like rape, rape victims decide. Everyone else gets to shut up and listen. Absolutely agree! I can't tell you how many times I've been on a video game forum talking about loadouts to use in a FPS, and the topic of rape comes up, and, you know, we just shut up and listen. We just shut up. We shut up and listen. It's a common conversation to have when you're playing Call of Duty. Just every day, all day. Rape, 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 rape. I saw exactly what you mean in the empathy thread. In the empathy thread. Where the video games? How many more pages of this are there? Page 20 of what? Of 46. Just fuck it. Come kiss me, sweet death. Fuck it. Well, you know what? Maybe that's just a one-off topic. Let's go look at another heavily focused video game thread on this amazing video game website. Please stop referring to women as females. I see this everywhere, and it really rustles my jimmies, but never more than when I see a dude say men and females in the same sentence. Really says a lot about how they view women. Also, don't forget that mod edit, explaining that this is a sensitive topic, and I bet all of you are really curious how well this discussion went. Oh, Stanley Rue, what are you doing here? Yeah, it's really gross. And as a gender non-binary, I'm going to add an addendum. Let's take this a few steps further. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. And be respectful in how we gender people in general. Don't always be so sure you've got someone's pronouns right. Because, hey, motherfucker, you don't really know if kittens is a mister or a missus, do ya? Lot of hyper-defensive males in this topic. Is this thread an example of mansplaining? Maybe I'm just having a run of bad luck. There have to be video games somewhere on this fucking forum. Let's go find them. <laughs> Wait till you see the. F <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> well, fuck me, we finally found it, didn't we? I knew the Holy Grail was out there somewhere. People had told me for years, Jim, eventually, if we dig deep enough, we will find a forum run by and for cat ladies an entire fucking forum moderated by them with a user base of them dirty disgusting old withered up tits hanging by their knees cat ladies bitter females that hate anything to do with men that just want to make their hobbies awful they smell putrid their house stinks of cat shit there's no joy in them there's no love in them they don't even play video games it's a trap. They made the forum as a trap to get back at all the men that are fucking younger women. And that forum is Reset Era. But this is the utopia that they wanted. They ran away from NeoGAF to create this. They all had a hand in building it. They were so enthusiastic about coming together as a community. They were going to do it the right way, the progressive way, the cat lady way, and make the biggest hug box the internet has ever seen. So I'm sure they're all overjoyed with it. They found paradise. It's not like they've realized they've made a horrible fucking mistake by handing the keys to the kingdom to a bunch of piss-stained, kitty-litter-smelling cat ladies and want to run back to NeoGAF now. Because how fucking embarrassing would that be?